we got a chance to speak to the cast of season four of Jack Ryan. Here now is our conversation with Michael Pena and Louis Ozawa. Check it out. Tell me this, guys. Um, the Clancy verse, I guess that's what they're calling it these days, um, is such a compelling universe of books and video games. Was it as easy for you guys to say yes to something like this? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I remember getting off the phone with John Krasinski and he says, you know, I'm thinking about this character for the last and final season. And I thought, wow, this sounds really cool. And then I then watched uh, the, the first season. I watched it in mm. two days. And I was like, oh my, I was like, let's go. It, like it was something that I thoroughly enjoyed. And then when I read the first two scripts, you know, they were better than they were pitched. So I was really excited to jump on this. Oh, you know, I was totally excited. I've been friends with John for now roughly 20 years. Yeah, so the right. uh, opportunity to work with him was super exciting. However, I just finished shooting for six months on Hunters. And um, on the page, the first episode, I was afraid that I was going to play another villain uh, um, without giving too much away. I, the, I had a meeting with them and they discussed the whole arc of the character. And I said, yes, that's something that I can get behind. Sign me up. And then we went on this long journey. Let me tell you, man, uh, Hunters was too good to have lasted for too little. It was such a great show. But you guys wrapped on a fantastic note. And I did enjoy that second season Thank you. very, Thanks very so much. much. Yeah. Uh, Michael, you know, Ding is a fan favorite. People watching the Jack Ryan series are just kind of itching and waiting for these characters to show up. However, I have to say fans, book nerds are not as extreme as, say, comic book nerds. But when you were going through the source material, did you feel a kind of, what's the word I'm looking for, responsibility to the fans at all? Yeah, I mean, like, there's a certain way that he's written. I'm like, he's, he's, you know, he's heavy in one particular book of that Tom Clancy verse. And then, you know, he makes little appearances here and there. And it's also like, the thing is, is that there's different iterations of that one particular character in different books. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, almost like he's got different backstories as well. And the way that he, and his temperament is different from book to book. Um, you know, he's there to serve as a story. So I really had to go off the uh off the you know the, the scripts that were written for this show and then that's when i took the deep dive and tried to you know make him service the story as best he can and not borrow too much from the books well you know i mean you kind of preempted my next question about whether or not the book served as any point of reference or whether the script was your true north um i guess with louis with you given that it's a character for the show was that easier in some ways that you didn't have video games and books and all of right, these. Right. Yeah. No, I, I wasn't saddled with that kind of pressure of, you know, can I live up to this character? But, you know, the stakes were high enough as it was for my character that uh, that's all I had, you know, the kind of uh, uh, like mind space for, you know, like uh, it is a lot for my character to do. And so, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm certainly grateful not to have to live up to any kind of legacy in that way but i do have the legacy of the, all these great kind of gray shady characters that have appeared in numerous iterations of this clancy verse there are a lot of shady characters in those novels that's true yes, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, is gentlemen is there an appeal to for the both of you to joining these sorts of universes but as actors do you roll your eyes at these things or is it exciting still? Well, I mean, I think that's more determined, uh, you know, that's that's more audience determined than it is anything else. If if people really want like a, you know, a sequel, then they'll ask for it. And if it, you know, it has to have some kind of success and hopefully it, the quality's there uh, to match the success. Uh, and then I don't mind at all. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> I, I don't see a world where like a failed movie that's not very good. And they're like, you know what? We're going to do a sequel. I don't think, I don't, I don't think that, that, you know, that happens much. That is probably how it used to be done, right? Like where they go, hey, we'll see if this thing makes money. Now it feels like they're planning sequels in writer's room for like oh, 10 yeah. years. Oh, no, right? yeah. No, but I think if, if it tanks, then they don't do the sequel. That's so true. So it's still kind of the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What about you, Louis? Uh, is the franchise thing exciting? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm, as a fan of the genre, the franchise, it's exciting to be a part of, naturally. Yeah, and you want to do the best job you can, and that's all that we can control. Very cool. I think I've got like 45 seconds left. But uh, Michael, very quickly, are you allowed to tell me anything about the spinoff stuff? Like progress, where you're at? Like, is it happening? Um, so the the thing is, I'm like, it, it's kind of one of those things. I'm like, what do the people want to do? You know what I mean? What people like, what are you guys writing about? Like, is it OK? Is it good? Like, so I think it's dependent upon the reaction a lot. Um, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I will tell you this much, my friend. I will tell you this much. There Come is on. a small group of book nerds <laughs> <laughs> who have been waiting for a Ding Chavez Rainbow Six thing. Uh, me and my friends were always like, did you see that little Easter egg? Like, <laughs> we're, so there's a small, tiny group of us. <laughs> I don't know, man. If I, that I, means I, anything. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I'm like, I've heard that. There, well, I mean, there's millions of people that bought those books. Yeah. Uh, so there has to be this much is more than a million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so do it for us. Uh, okay. Cool. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure speaking to both of you. And Thanks, brother. Congratulations sure. on the show. What I've seen so far of season four is really, really good. So, yeah, yeah. awesome. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers, guys. Don't forget to check out season four of Jack Ryan when it premieres on Prime Video Friday, June 30th. You can also watch seasons one, two, and three. We highly recommend it. Let us know what you think of the show. Sound off in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.